Star Trek is coming back in a big way with a brand new series, and here is what we know. Some of it is Star Wars connected. So what we're looking at is uh, the USS Discovery for mm -hmm. Star Trek Discovery, which should be out sometime in, I believe, early 2017, though yes. no date has been nailed down exactly just yet, coming to CBS and then moving on to CBS's digital platform after that, which oh. some people might not be happy about. Yeah, but, uh, not Netflix for us US I and Canadian people. I might have to go buy that subscription. I have so, so many. I have like seven. <laughs> like yeah, little yeah, little guys. I don't have cable anymore, but here yeah. we go. All the on-demand services. Um, and it looks like the ship, so we only have a few things revealed so far. Mm -hmm. We have a ship, we have a name, and a little uh, else. We know that it's in the yeah, yeah. Roddenberry uh, no, no, timeline? No, no, it's, it's in the prime timeline, prime timeline not the Kelvin yeah. timeline. So uh, oh. the Kelvin timeline is the one used for the rebooted Star Trek movies featuring Chris Pine. Um, but here's a look at the discovery and tell me if you recognize anything special about it. Intrepid Trek fans will recognize that that ship looks very close uh, to a design done by Ralph McQuarrie, who is famous for making the uh, Star Wars uh, concept designs. Beautiful art, just gorgeous. Uh, and this was designed for him for a canceled, well, actually, I shouldn't step that far. It looks close to something. <laughs> that was used, going to be used for a canceled 1970s Star Trek movie. Um, I did actually go mm -hmm. to the press conference where we were talking to Brian Fuller and many of the previous captains and uh -huh. crew members uh, uh -huh. across Star Trek proper. Uh -huh. We, oh, I forgot to post that video, but we will post it soon. <laughs> um, basically, it they were asked, did you use Ma Ralph McQuarrie's design? Uh -huh. To which Fuller said, uh, it's based on the concept, but, quote, to a point that we can't legally comment on it until our legal team figures out some things. So to me, that's a big yes. Yeah, I think, it's, I think they want to say yes, but it's like we, we didn't give him money. Yet. We didn't give his estate money we yet. So, sorry. We need to consult the lawyers before yeah. I get us into a lot of trouble. Yeah, it looks great, though. It's very it's very simplified, you mm -hmm. know, compared to the Enterprise. So. Um, I was talking on our Facebook live stream mm -hmm. about it, like my flash reactions, and some people were thinking it has a bit of a Klingon influence. Oh, shit. Uh, which I see. Yeah. But I kind of don't think that's it. If we're going toward the, it could just uh, be that it's brown. The 1970s. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's 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 got this older look. So mm -hmm. that also makes me think, since we do not know at what point the new Star Trek series right. is in the timeline, could I be. think it will be closer to TOS than mm -hmm. like uh, the more modern Star Treks. Yeah, so totally. that'd be I amazing. Don't know when, but maybe around that time. And I don't know who's on board. And I don't know who's <laughs> cast. And we don't know anything except it is in the prime. Yes, it's the USS Discovery. That's all we got uh, until it, <laughs> until the premiere comes out. It's exciting though. This yeah. was a huge year for Star Trek, and uh, we have Star Star Trek Beyond coming mm -hmm. out, or it's out. Were you? Did you see it yet? Did you go to the, Not the yet. premiere? No, I didn't get to go. I couldn't go to the premiere. No, I was so pissed. I could have gone. I just I wasn't able. I'm gonna go this out. week, and yeah. I've heard great things about it. That it's hopeful. And that's the kind of yeah. Star Trek I love. That's Thank the kind of sci-fi I love. Thank you, Simon Pegg. Thank you, Pegg. Especially <laughs> in a are. time where we need that kind of sure. like unity and hope and uh, working together, in reflecting the real world and how shitty it's gotten. Um, so yay, Star Trek. Yay, for showing Star us Trek. what we could be and should be but aren't. Let's be more like you one day. <laughs> Man, this took a turn. <laughs> yay. Everything is terrible. Uh, but reject nihilism, won't ya? Won't ya? And uh, <laughs> that's what Star Trek is. Yeah. Reject nihilism. Work together for the better. It's OK if some people are bald. Um, yes, that's another lesson. Audience, <laughs> what do you think of the new ship? Uh, what do you think of the USS Discovery and its quarry influence design, maybe? I say that with an asterisk. Let us know below in the comments. And please like and subscribe for more.